In the previous episode, we gathered hundreds of bandits to help us in battle. We defeated many noble parties trying to siege down of Landing Castle, but failed the siege once again. So let's do it again. Let's just keep raiding villages, and then we can keep dropping them off at the Sea Raiders anyways. And then I think we might be able to get enough. Let's see how many is that? 48? Yeah. Yeah, again, no injuries. Great loot. And we'll go ahead and do it again. Another 230, so above, above 1,000 now. Ooh. We do have to fight that. I didn't realize they were that close. Doesn't look like... Oh, interesting. <laughs> we had some some stragglers following us still. We are going to be slowed down after this, but I think 4.9... This guy concerns me. 5.7 is fast. 4.9 is not too big of a deal. And what are we up against? Only one range. Yeah, this is going to be easy. I don't know. I get, everybody got switched into the, the group number one. Interesting. So I can't split my archers out. Well, we'll take advantage. It looks like we're pretty easily winning this. Oh, let's help take out the cab anyway. These guys are kind of annoying. I totally butchered that shot. That will get this guy. Ooh, we took our donkey too. We spared the donkey. Oh, they have <laughs> they have a crossbow over here. Ooh, that looked like a headshot. There we go. And we got one death on our side, but it looks like it is a bandit. Yeah, Sea Raider Chief, that's fine. And then uh, 18 injuries, not too bad. Uncheat did pretty well. Got Hugh Curtis. Oh, here we go, Junebug with three. Micah McCorvey with two. Yeah, that was a pretty good battle. We only, you know, like I said, 18 losses, it's acceptable. But now we kind of have to worry about what's going to happen now, if we're going to be able to get away in time. Maybe a bad idea to take these prisoners, but I guess we'll, we'll, have, we'll have to wait and see. So we just want to move away from them. As straight a line as possible, and then try and lose. Yeah, there we go. We picked up 278 in scouting. I'm kind of curious to see what difference that makes. Where's our final perk? So if, uh, perks plus 3.4. So that, that's helping quite a bit. It's offsetting completely the prisoners, and we're actually getting a little bit of overage from that. All right, let's dump the prisoners off again at the Sea Raiders. And I don't think we're keeping too many of these. I guess we could. Yeah, let's just get rid of them. So 1,400. A lot of these little parties. I just don't know if it's enough to take on a castle yet. It's really tough in Vlandia too because there's just so... The kingdom's huge, 
But they just seem to have people everywhere. Oh, Carbanseth got taken by Sturgeons. Interesting. I'm wondering if it makes sense to go for something on the edge of the kingdom. Something like Nivyansk. Still kind of got my eyes set on one of these. You know what we could do? Let's, let's just go poke around. I don't see too much traffic around here anymore. 159, but a lot of them are militia. So even if the garrison are high tier troops, we can probably take them on. Uh, let's take a look at Lenniken. 117, so it's even less, but it's more garrison troops, which means it might be a little bit harder. These literally just need to get the siege camp set up. I see a bunch of people here, so that may not work. They're not chasing us though. That's good. We could try and clear some room here. Let's uh, let's maybe take some of these guys out. Yeah, I think we're going to auto-resolve this. Interesting. We still lost 19. A bit higher than I would have thought it would have been, but that's fine. Ooh, wow. Look at that. Masterwork Fine Steel Cavalry Broadsword. Yeah, that, that looks like a really good uh, sword for us to have. I don't really feel like going too far away from here. I don't see anything else. I guess we could use the mountain bandits. Let's just let's just pump these guys up. And nothing really worth keeping. I guess we could keep some of the tier five. But again, I think we're we're doing okay on campaigns for now. Let's just focus on oh criminal rating. That's right. So we don't want to drop off too many here. Let's just focus on seeing if we can get some uh, some stuff done with the siege. I'd love to to try and take a castle soon. Everybody's at 100%. I'm pretty tempted to do this. Uh, there's the Highland Warlord armor, which we've already gotten a couple of them. They're, they're pretty good. Probably worth doing, but it just takes so much time. I think we'll leave it for now. Right, let's pick up a couple more of these small, small groups. That way we don't have to deal with them later when we siege. Another 23 injured. We're working our way back to even with these guys. So minus 16. I think we were at minus 30 something before we started releasing these guys. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I was kind of hoping that wasn't going to happen, but Sturgis down here sieging. But I bet their parties still chase us around rather than trying to defend their fief. I bet I bet that's what happens. All right, give these prisoners as well. And again, I forgot. <laughs> okay, no more no more Batania. We don't want to get too much criminal reading. This spear looks quite attractive. Not sure we want to spend the money on it, though. Yeah, let's, let's hide out here. We do need to heal up a bit, so. All right, there's a lot going on here. I don't know what these guys are doing. Oh, caravan. Interesting. Yours is not a face well, look who it is. <laughs> well, somebody would be happy to see that. She joined the uh, the correct culture. The correct kingdom. I'm very happy to see that. Alright, let's see what's going on back over here. Looks like they lost the siege. Oh, yeah, we have to do that. We have to try at least. We at least have to try. As soon as this thing completes, we're going right in. I don't care what they had built. Uh, Looks like Onager, which is not a problem. We can handle Onager. They'll only do injury. They won't They won't uh, threaten to kill any of our guys. Halfway there. This could be it. Although, we, that said, we still have to win the siege. I, we haven't done one yet uh, with RBM, so I don't know how it's going to go. Looks like they're going to complete... Oh, no, no, no. Leave us alone. We're almost there. Oh, man, that's so close. We're going to have to fight it. I don't think it's going to be too hard on us, but I was really hoping to avoid that. Yeah, we just have to fight it. Okay, we still have our Sea Raiders with us. We are going to fight this in person. We don't want to lose too many people. Keeps putting everybody in one group, which is kind of annoying. All right, we should be able to hold the bridge at the very least. I think this is the one they're going to try and come through. Yep, here they come. Uh, nobody's here. What's going on? All right, we'll just block it. Oh, man, that hurt. Where are our guys? I didn't even put him in shield wall yet. Yeah, they're just, I guess we're just so much faster. All right, we got a... Archers! Soldiers! Make a shield wall! All right, let's group up. Here comes the cav on the flank, which we don't have any way of guarding because our guys are on one group. I guess we could split them up, but... We'll probably end up doing that. There we go. Alright, we gotta deal with these calf. Deal with the calf. Okay. 
do with the infantry too while we're at it. Alright, it's all about conservation at this point. We need to make sure we have enough troops to handle the siege. It's going to be really important. Oh, I missed my shot. That's going to cost us. Oh, here comes one. Oh no, our donkey. <laughs> I'm going to deal with you personally then, stealing our donkey. Are these all downed cav? Because that's definitely not where the infantry was coming from. They do have a couple, uh, looks like... Oh, I don't even know what to shoot at here. Looks like they do have a handful of uh, range units we got to deal with. Alright, it's pretty quiet now. Oh man, that's so close. Oh, stay down. <laughs> Alright, let's push in. I don't think we have... Any more cab to deal with. So we should be good. Let's go ahead and line formation so we can go more than a snail's pace. And again, we'll try and pick people off as we move with the shield wall. Oh man, we're losing people. We don't really have time to prolong the siege to heal people up either. Because the longer we wait, the more onagers we got to deal with. So we kind of have to just go in with what we have. Alright, what's the damage? Oh, nice. We only lost 9. Okay, so ten, we lost 10% of our force. Arthur of Blaine with 3. That's interesting. And 3 of them... Uh, let's see, we got 3 levels of 2-handed. So he's doing pretty well there. Brad Simon. Doing, uh, doing alright. Taku with 2. Nice. And again, we're seeing polearm and one-handed. Before, I was thinking maybe a just polearm is good, but I do see quite a bit of combo here. And then we lost a few, a few of our bandits, but that's not really a concern. And releasing you puts us back at uh, minus 11, so we're almost back to even. We will take the prisoners for now. Not anything too crazy there on the loot. All right, we are going to continue the siege. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, see, if we start it right now... We don't have to deal with this. So it's only one Onager. How badly injured are some of our other people? So Maid Marion is just barely hanging for, on for dear life. Surfix, same thing. Seems like most people are at, at pretty good health levels. So I think we can do that. Let's just add all these people to our party. Oh, okay. Why did it do that? Oh, uh, it unpaused and then let some time elapse when we should have been fighting and avoiding this other Onager. Now we add followers of the party, but it doesn't. It didn't add them, so I don't know what's going on there. Well, that's fine. It's time for the assault. This is it. It's uh, do or die. Yeah, we're gonna have to go up the ladders. It looks like the onagers are on the left side, so I think it might make sense just to load up on this left side and just go hard. Follow me. Let's get up there as soon as we can. Yeah, if we stay real close to this side, we pretty much negate the Onagers. Alright, anybody tries to contest us, we can get some shots off. Oh, nice. So these guys made it up here already. Let's get the archers set up as well. All right, this is not going to be pretty, I can already tell. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of injuries here. So, what are we getting shot from? Ooh, nice. All right, we just got to try and pick off as many people as we can. Looks like we do have some angles here. And then as soon as these guys are out, actually, what we should probably do... Let's shield wall these guys. Get him right in front. 
Now, are we taking arrows? I don't think so. Alright, this guy does not have a shield. Oh, he does, but it's a dinky shield. Nice. That was one of their uh, tier 6 cavalry. This guy, too. We'll take shots at the guys that aren't defending themselves. Alright, I think we're winning this exchange. We don't have the HUD to tell us one way or the other, so we just kind of have to go with our gut. It feels like we're doing okay. Oh, man, that just looks so brutal. Yeah, I mean, if they... They're kind of in a tough spot. If they don't defend this, we, we go up the... We scale the ladders easily. And if they do defend it, we get to pick them off. So... Now, there is some archer somewhere. Where is the... Where are we getting shot from? Seems like they're... Yeah, see, we are losing some, some troops to those. Uh, looks like it's from over there. Okay, well, it's not a lot we can do about that. Alright, let's just keep focusing on here. I think we got a couple more to go, and then we can start scaling the ladders. Now, if we move these guys up, move our archers up, does that help give them a little bit? Maybe a little bit more cover. Alright, luckily they don't have too many archers over here, although even if they did, we could probably pick them off pretty easily. At this range, especially. It's not too hard to aim without the reticle at this range. Yeah, I see some arrows coming from this left side. I, I don't know where those shots are. I can't really see them. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see you. You're dead. Oh, first shot. Right through the face. Man, that felt good. Alright, and I think some of these guys are getting shots on us too, but that's going to be pretty hard. Alright, they are reinforcing. I think we're probably safe to come to start moving up the ladder. So let's go ahead and charge them. Alright, they're going to jitter and get into position to go up the ladder, so... All right, good luck, men and women, and whoever's in here, mules, everybody. Nice. So we took that guy out from the back. Oh, there's our, is that our folks? I think it is. All right, we need to get in there. All right, let's go. We're going to have the archers follow as well. See if we can get up here and maybe we can form. Oh, there's the archers. Okay, got it. So they do actually have some archers here. I think these guys were getting shots off on us too. Alright. We need to not get outnumbered here. Alright, there we go. Overwhelm them. Alright, let's get our let's get our troops here. Archer's back there. Let's see if we can take this archer out. Oh yeah, first shot. This is gonna be a tough one though. We're just a little bit to the left. There we go. There we go, two shot. Alright, who are we getting hit by? I think we do need to keep charging. I think they're sending their archers up here. Oh, that's a Falksman. Definitely not an archer. All 
All right, so they're going to roam through. Looks like they're just going to creep along with their shield wall. Can we get a shot on this guy? Oh, oh that was close, actually. I can't even see where I'm aiming because I have to aim up so high. So there's a hit. That's a hit. Yep, two shots. Nice. Oh, three shots. Okay, we missed one. We missed the first one. All right, Archer boys, let's go. I don't know how many guys they have left. Oh, he's getting brave. Why, right, who is that? Who is this brave soul? Oh, Bracon. <laughs> okay. Okay, you officially earned it on this one. So Bracon came all the way over here. Dad, this guy. Chased him down. We need to come up with a good name for you, though. Not the chaser. That's kind of cheesy. Brakown the hunter? I think hunter is, is a good one. You hunted them down. Nice, and we didn't lose anybody either. All right, let's uh, let's check the damage report. So Alan and Dale was six. Mostly one-handed. We got 24, and it's all with the with the bow and arrow. So four levels. That's, that's going to help a lot. Uh, little John with three. Will Scarlet, Will Stutley. So it looks like the main group did really well here. Everybody else kind of contributed. Yeah, that was that was a really good fight. So 24, we killed 60. So pretty good numbers there. And we are going to take all the troops. We're going to just deposit them in the garrison. We're not going to be using them, but we can use them to help defend. We got a Masterworks, a Broadbridge Short Sword. Probably not a really good one, but it's a Masterworks. Oh, and another Masterwork. 120 pound Warbow. Some arrows and some throwing weapons. Oh yeah, we got some decent loot here, actually. Not high tier, but stuff that we can actually use, though. Now we're going to show Mercy. This is our homeland. We don't want to do anything stupid. Now let's go ahead and manage the garrison, and we'll drop everybody off that we took. So we'll have a little bit of a garrison to help us out, at least. And let's see what's going on here in the castle. So let's stop all the construction, because the AI is usually pretty terrible at that. Now we are... Not doing too well here on loyalty. That's going to slow us down a bit. Militia's at zero. We we got to get our militia up as soon as we can. So we're going to switch this over to train militia while we're sitting here and resting. Don't really care too much about any of this stuff. We'll deal with it. But we do need to deal with the prisoners. We've got 92 prisoners. I don't really want to leave to drop them off somewhere. So I think we'll just put them in... Well, the dungeon's going to be tiny. 40. I guess it's better than nothing. And then we're just going to hang on to the rest. 52? Yeah, we can do that. All right, let's go to the Lord's Hall, because we are now officially a Lord. Made Marion waiting for us in the bedchambers. But first, we need to make ourselves nice and comfy. Yep, this is ours. It ain't much, but it's honest work. He looks so bored. Probably rather be out there looting and raiding rather than being a, a, a king or a lord. And what do we have in wages? Actually, let's take a look. So if we go to parties and we go to Lanaken, this one's costing us 359. So it's not too bad, especially considering we are making pretty good money. Uh, we're not making money with that, though. Oh, yeah, that's including the workshop income. Yeah, yeah. So we are we are positive. And then obviously we'll have income with this once we turn the upgrades off. Interesting. We could go grab some people from the hangout and bring them over. Let's go and wait a little bit. I don't know why we're not getting the upgrades though. I wonder if you're at if you're at if you have no upgrades to do, maybe you can't you can't bank them. Interesting. Cuz it's been a while. We should have been getting some upgrades. Let's go and turn off. We'll save up some money. Almost 38 grand per week. And yeah, we've got maxed out food. Well, first things first, we do need to wait to heal up. So, man, that was that was really exciting. It went a lot easier than I thought it was going to. Ooh, and Carbanseth rebelled. Very nice. So everybody's back on their feet. They do need some time before they're uh, combat ready. But oh, and the, are these guys just waiting for us? They didn't. Uh, they didn't join the battle. So I think what we have to do is manually grab them next time. We can go talk to them. Actually, let's do that right now. So if we leave and then go talk to them. We can tell them to join our party, and we'll just throw them in the garrison. And we can take their prisoners, too. All right, garrison's up to 72, so that'll be a respectable amount. 
And like I said, very important thing, we need to get our militia up and running because it, while they don't do a whole lot of damage, it's better than not having them and they are free troops. So we, we do want to get that up and running. Militia grounds, pretty important. Although we're not going to have really any construction until we get our loyalty fixed. So yeah, as you can see, construction's going to be zeroed out until we get our loyalty fixed. So we play the waiting game for a little bit. Yeah, the question is, are we going to get attacked by a huge party? Or an army? Oh boy. Oh boy. That might be it. That might be the big party we were hoping to avoid. I'm wondering if we should abandon ship or try and defend. I, we know we can take it, and that what we can do is try and round up some bandits and just stuff the garrison as, as best we can. Although the garrison's not going to help if they starve us out. We've got 330 food here, plus 14, so we can hold out for a while, but but still. So we've got 90 plus the 74 plus a little bit of militia, so almost 200 versus 429. I'm wondering how well we do against this. Probably not all that well, but but I guess we'll have to see. The one thing that is going for us is our main character has really good bow skill, and we have infinite arrows. So we could sway the battle ourselves pretty significantly as long as it's not like a 2,000 unit battle. Something smaller, we, we can probably do it now. If, if these guys join in, a bunch of other guys join in, we're going to have some issues. So let's see what happens. Yeah, they're coming right for us. And we're building Onager, which is not a bad thing necessarily. That'll at least take out any kind of ram that they build. And what does the balance power look like? Heavily in their favor. <laughs> not all that surprised. Richard the Lionheart is attacking us. Hmm. Yep, so they got a ram. I have I suspect they're just gonna go with a single ram. They'll probably assault before this is up. Oh, they gave up. Interesting. We had a third we had a third Onager ready to go, and they just uh they let it go. Oh wow, there's some big fights here. Maybe that's why they felt like they needed to to assist. I hope all those guys don't come here next. That would be a travesty. All right, 427. They're still coming. We're ticking up our militia each day that goes by, so we it's not like it's a complete waste. Yeah, here they come again. Okay, so we're almost at 200 now. And we've got 16 days of food. I am so glad they didn't join. I think we have a chance here. Out number two to one. We do need... Okay, no, we're screwed. <laughs> we're completely screwed. All right, let's get another Onager up before the ram. Hopefully we can take that out and they don't build any siege towers. And then they just go for the uh, the ladders. That would be best case scenario. No, okay, good, they did it. Two Onager. Yeah, man, this is gonna be tough. 